Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to look at how to use variables in your set expressions. A lot of y'all have been emailing me and asking me about variables in set expressions. So here we go. Please leave a like if you like my hat. It's cool, huh? Just like this video is going to be. All right, let's get into it. Um, let's first go to our script editor and let's define a variable here. And we say that set, well, we know the difference between set and let. If you don't, I have a video on it, check it out. So set, um, and I'm gonna give a name to the variable, just good convention to start it with we. We, let's say my product is equal to, and I define it inside single quotes and now basically what i'm doing is i'm setting this variable we my product is equal to matcha latte here and we're going to call that in our set expression now i have products in my dimension and as a measure i'm going to write in here over here i have some of sales but i want to bring in a set expression so i say open and close curly braces open and close angled brackets our identifier is a dollar and then I say product is equal to and what is our product equal to well we need to put that inside our modifier is always inside curly braces and here we say that we want it to be equal to the variable that we just created so first we need to run this because the variable is not run so once i've written the variable i need to run it and then the value of that variable gets stored so now it's stored and i'm just gonna copy this and how do we how do we actually write this well we need to put a dollar and put the variable inside brackets so this is like dollar expansion in click sense where you put a dollar and then put the variable name inside that dollar and that essentially means that you are calling that particular variable so we can put that inside single quotes because that's going to turn into a literal value and you know what we have a space here so in that case we need to use we need to put it under quotes if there was no space well you could actually just expand the variable without single quotes but since there's a space i need to put this entire thing inside a particular uh, inside single quotes and i say well dollar and my variable so let's see what happens when we apply it and now i get just get one matcha latte and now i'm going to change it to to plain oat good and let's see what happens i'm just gonna run it and and now automatically as the load has been completed the value in the variable changes and hence my set expression changes to plain oat good that's what i just changed my variable into so that's how you could use variables in your set expression now you could do much more for example i could set current year let me just put a v and current year is equal to function year today now this one wouldn't work because this is not a set since this is an expression i need to since we are executing an expression i need to make it as let so now i have v current year i'm just gonna run it and let's create a new bar chart here with year and sales and let's call our new set expression here year is equal to and since it's a number i don't need to put the quotes but um won't matter anyway so i'm gonna 
call this and say apply and now we just see one year here and this should be the current year that's 2021 so it, i have set the variable by making it calculate automatically what today's year is saving that into a variable and in my set expression i'm calling that particular variable called current year and i get the value for whatever was executed in the in the particular um, variable here so that's how you could use variables in um, set expressions super simple right please leave a like for the video and my hat see you in the next one peace